What's going on guys? I'm Joey. Welcome to the channel H2K Gaming. Today, we're going to watch my Grand Champion 2 Rocket League gameplay and we're going to do some replay analysis. So, no more explanation needed. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, let's get right into it. Grand Champion 2 gameplay. We're hopping right into some 2v2 ranked and uh, that's basically my specialty because that's really all I do when I play Rocket League. To be completely honest, that's all I got. So if you want some two tips, I'm your man. All right, here we go. So obviously the kickoff, I mean, there's different things, but I'm a pad guy. I like those pads and I grab the pads and I pressure the ball immediately to show them, hey, I'm here and uh, let's, let's play, you know? Like I want to make an impact right away. So just rotating back here, still playing on pads. As you can see, not going to go for that hundo. The opponent seems to have this air dribble. So we're just going to make sure to get a touch here and rotate in the corner no i'm gonna keep some pressure teammate doesn't seem to be going and his hundred should spawn there we go play it slow not the best touch the opponent kind of clipped the ball there we're gonna grab a hundred and keep some pressure make sure he doesn't do what he wants with the ball get a light touch so i can get a follow through don't turn it over here we go pop the ball Tried not to turn it over, unfortunately. Ended up turning it over, but that's all good. Let's rotate back, get some pads. Teammate got demoed. Got to be careful here. No boost. We're going to try to make the best of the situation. Get under it. Maybe get a flick. That was hard. If I had just a little boost, I actually would have got that 2K flick. <laughs> uh, link in my video description for the 2K flick. Anyways, let's keep going. Going to put some pressure. Uh, no problem. Going to go back here, grab some pads. I like to, you know, play off of pads because they're in the center of the field. And most of the time, you have to be in the center of the field. So I'm going to keep pressure with my teammate here. Low on boost. I think this is going to be a goal. The opponent has the open net. Ooh, looks like uh, they missed that open net. No problem. No boost here. Going to try to make the best of the situation without boost. Trying to be unpredictable with my no boost. Miss the 50. Get a pad or two. Watch for teammates touch. Just going to stay close to the play here so we don't get completely... Uh, let the opponent basically do what they want. So keep with the ball. Short side shot for the, you know, my teammate maybe to go and get the ball. Try to keep that in. No problem. Teammate seems to have it under control. I'm not going to waste boost. And that's going to be a goal for us. Let's go. Honestly, it should be one nothing for the opponent. But Grand Champion 2s do make mistakes. And we were able to get a goal. Let's go. All right, here we go. Kick off. Good start so far. Let's go for a 50 here. Ooh, I completely got dunked on. I actually didn't 50 him properly because I wanted to fake him a little bit. But in this situation, definitely should have got my body in front of it. Because he was able to destroy me on that play. Making it a 1-1 game, but that's all good. We're going to call a fake here. See if teammate understands. He does. We're going to flip. Make it look like we're actually going. Teammate wants nothing to do with that 50. Or that fake kickoff, actually just gonna stay back here behind teammate making sure to get the pressure looks like teammate has it I actually side flipped out of the way there unfortunately but yeah teammate was there I saw he was there so no panic good job teammate keeping the ball still here I think teammate has this so we're gonna stay close to the play let Santa put some pressure then I'm gonna put some pressure keep it in the corner there and teammate kind of bumped me so I'm gonna turn and go for it put some pressure on this guy and I think teammate put some pressure on him as well. I'm almost certain teammate was right behind me <laughs> doing the same play. Yeah. So, I was, like, both of us nowhere near the ball. So, yeah, double commit pressure play in a twos match is never good. And yeah, try not to throw yourself into the opponent's zone like I just did. Let's, uh, let's stay close to the ground here. Grab a hundo. Keep the ball close to myself. Pop it up. Going for double tap. If I can recover this. Yes, go. let's go. Man, I wasn't sure if that was going in. Good play on the double. Good patience. Good recovery. Just got enough of it to go underneath the opponent. Good play. So backflip towards the hundo here. And we're going to creep up. Okay. I'm just going to stay back. We're alone here. Make sure we get the 50. Help out teammate. And teammate gets dunked. So they got two dunks on us. So we're going to have to be careful. But that's Grand Champion 2 gameplay. You know, 
Going for musties to just throw off the opponent and then put some pressure. And just basically ram the ball in the net, you know. So another kickoff here. We're going to try to keep the ball in our corner so that the opponent can get a good play on us. And good, good on teammate there keeping the ball out of, out of the danger zone. So team is going for a ceiling read. 50. Gets kind of a 50 towards the opponent. I'm going to go. I saw my teammate go back. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to challenge this ball. We were beating him to it, but no boost. So we're going to be careful here. Stay with teammate, even though I don't have a lot of boost. And I'm going to try to take the shot here. Yeah. Jeez. So they had no boost, but, you know, leading the scoreboard here with like 572 points just by playing, you know, center field, grabbing pads, and chilling. So left goes stick to our pad play here and actually the ball goes towards that hundo so we're gonna grab the hundo and get ball touches try to keep it away from the opponent make sure they don't super dunk me priority number one do not get super dunk i don't know why i went for that ball no problem I was probably just trying to pressure the play he made seems to have control he's gonna pressure them to the side wall i don't think i should have taken that boost but anyway it's all good Make sure we are beating that guy to the ball. And we're going to try to get the ball towards the net. I do see a defender. Actually, the guy that cut in front of his teammate to get the block, which is really good because I did not expect that. Just get the 50. Make sure we keep the ball out of the danger zone. Grab a pad or two. And, you know, if you're not sure where to place yourself, behind and to the center of your teammate is always a good spot. So there, I was just basically trying to keep the ball away from his shooting side and I did it just enough for him to get the post out oh my god I have to get a save here I think teammate whiff so I got the save that was crazy make sure to keep the ball close to us don't panic teammate okay so we had time there you know so I'm just gonna make sure we go here clear the ball into their zone and pressure hit the pinch maybe teammate was there looks like teammate got a play we're gonna stay back just in case I'm gonna call a fake here. Come on, teammate, fake it, fake it. Doesn't fake it. That's twice I call the fake, and he wants nothing to do with the fake. So there, it's important to just I'm shadowing him, making sure that if we do get a play, I'm here and scoring the goal. So that's how you win. Basically, don't go for hundos. Notice how I'm taking all those small pads and I'm staying with my teammate, supporting my teammate by grabbing small pads. And that's exactly how I scored the OT goal there. So that was pretty good and pretty fun. We're going to do another one here. You're going to have to understand that whatever rank you're playing in, your teammates and the opponents will be making a lot of mistakes. Grand Champion 2s, Grand Champion 3s, and Supersonic Legends actually make a bunch of mistakes. So if they're making mistakes, Imagine how many mistakes like your diamond or your champion one opponent is actually making. If you're paying attention to the opponents, you're going to see all those mistakes and it's going to make you feel way better about your gameplay. Right? I mean, if you're just trying to rank up, then basically, yeah, watch the opponents. If you're trying to get better, free play and, you know, basically anything in free play will make you get better drifting air dribbles resets you know anything you could do in training you can practice and get better at so it's important to spend time in training it is become comfortable with your car movements adjust your sensibilities move your camera you know when you're playing like like always we're gonna grab some pads on the kickoff here and let's go second game today Make sure teammate gets that pressure. We're going to grab that hundo in the back because teammate has again, but gets a total whiff. So we're going to put some pressure here. Make sure that the opponent doesn't do what they want with the ball. That, that hundo's there. We're just going to grab it. Teammate has the pressure anyways and is most likely going to pop it in the corner. There we go. Should have stolen that hundo. Well, good. Let's get that redirect just if we get the double here. Ooh, actually, I'm pretty sure I might have had that one, but the opponent 
was the actual player to put the ball in the net. Nice. You got to go for those redirects. Those redirect double taps, you know? Forcing my teammate into a fake kickoff by calling all yours three times. Anyways. This guy's going to try to hook. We're going to try to read him. As soon as he pops it, we'll jump. There we go. Teammate with that play. Let's see if I can get a nice, easy goal. There we go. I did flip cancel with a side flip. Flip. Side flip? Front flip cancel to side flip. Anyways. Straight speed flip. Get <laughs> Blah. Straight speed flip kickoff there. And uh, it wasn't even a good one. But it was an attempt. Stay behind my teammate here and chill. He's going to get the 50. It's most likely going to pop like weirdly. So I'm a little close to him to be honest. But it's all good. We're just going to be annoying. Double commit play to that one. And I think the opponent is actually going to score that. <laughs> yeah. So when you're winning 2 nothing, I mean, it's it's hard to stay focused and to play smart. We're both kind of just chilling. I'm not in the spot I was supposed to be. Teammate actually said sorry, but to be honest, I was a little bit close to the play there. And to keep some pressure with these pads, grab some boost, steal their boost, why not? Take the middle boost, why not? Make sure we get this touch in the left corner here. And we're going to play the ball so the opponent doesn't do what they want. Gonna make sure to pressure this guy. That was a weird bounce. Maybe teammate can shoot. Good try. Gonna get this hundo and rotate back. Get super dunked on and we get scored on. There we go. Super bad challenge. I mean, I probably should have put more oomph into my 50 there. <laughs> That's twice where I get 50 into my net. So I gotta be careful with that. Go get some boost. Teammate has boost. I have boost, so we should be fully pressuring the other team teammate good pressure i'm gonna make sure we keep that pressure with a high touch towards their net teammate can go that'd be great i'll just go yeah i'm gonna be super annoying teammates here with me so grab the hundo and support them play okay not bad not bad just gonna go here and grab some boost the, the play is in their zone, so I can take my time here. Ooh, probably might have done something nasty, but good pressure by him. I don't know what I could do here. Probably can't get that angle, so we'll just play the, the boost grab on the opponent and keep possession. Making sure we don't turn it over. Go back this way, why not? Get a flick and go for double tap. The opponent there. Make sure our teammate there. I got their hundo so I can kind of chill. And we have time. This guy's giving me space. Actually, he's not giving me space. He kind of blocked it. That's all good. Teammate gets the clear. And we're going to try to just stay calm. Let my teammate rotate with me, right? Here, I need to get a touch. This is very important. Oof. So a big turnover by this guy here. Right to the opponent. Straight backboard. I didn't have a lot of boost. I did touch the ball, but not hard enough. Doesn't matter. Anyways, here's an opportunity to score here. Get that angle. Way too high. Probably should have put more uh, height onto my shot. You know, for ball positioning. Anyways, good job on teammate to finish the ball and put it in. I'll just put in a whoo in there. <laughs> All good. Speed flip kickoff. My kickoffs are not the best kickoffs. I, I don't like my kickoffs. i rather just fake the kickoff all the time. Which would be pretty cool, you know. Here we go past the teammate. And boom. Jesus. So use your teammate. I mean, a pass to your teammate is way better than you taking a power shot towards net. Especially in this situation here. Look at that. Perfect play. Here we go. Kick off. Good play here. We're going to grab the middle boost. And I think teammate might have scored that. There we go. Just by pressuring the opponent, we're getting some goals here. Teammate is pr fully pressuring. Like, he is not going for those hundos. He's going for those pads and pressure. So, pads and pressure is probably the key to ranking up, to be completely honest. Because those hundred boosts are, are placed on the extremities of the field. And to, to go to the extremities of the field, you, you consistently put yourself out of position 
when you go grab that 100 boost, unless it's like on the same side where the ball is or you know what I mean? It's like there's times where you, yeah, you're in the right spot. You might as well get it. But there's times where like right here, I'm kind of going out of position to get it, but I'm, I'm taking that risk, you know? Make sure we get another touch here. He's there for the 50. We're good. Just gonna grab the boost here <laughs> away from my teammate. Take my time. Man, not the best play. That's all good. He got a bad touch. Let's try to get a redirect. Almost. Go back. Go for those pads. See that my teammate has control. Went for the 100, which is all good. Take some time here. Sure to pass it to him, but also to pressure him so he can't do what he wants. Teammate had an open. All good. We're going to play this slow. I think teammate. Teammate actually was just rotating back and ended up in my ball space there so no problem 10 seconds left this game is probably in the bag and at this point i think team and i are pretty much just goofing around making sure we don't get scored on getting that epic save and that is going to be game so two gc2 wins and i think the most advanced mechanic we saw was a double tap we saw resets but no one scored with resets and that that was a champ too to be honest i didn't i didn't really know there was a champ too on the field because i think that's some smurfing going on there anyways i'm joy hope you guys enjoyed this video and all my two tips see you guys next time and peace out